हेलो फ्रेंड्स व्हाट्स अप सो लेट इस कंटिन्यू डिस्कसिंग फाइनेंशियल मार्केट्स दिस इज़ द थर्टींथ वीडियो ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर लेसन इफ़ यू हैव नॉट वॉच द फर्स्ट ट्वेल्व वीडियोज आई वुड रिकमेंड यू टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ दिस लेसन एंड देन कम हियर सो वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द बॉन्ड मार्केट इन इंडिया राइट एंड आई गेस दिस इज़ द फोर्थ और फिफ्थ वीडियो ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर सब टॉपिक ऑफ दिस लेसन सो लेट एस डिस्कस गवर्नमेंट बॉन्ड्स इन टूडेज वीडियो ओके सो गवर्नमेंट बॉन्ड्स आर बेसिकली द बॉन्ड्स विच आर इशूड बाई द गवर्नमेंट सो इट कैन बी आई दर गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया और गवर्नमेंट ऑफ स्टेट ओके एंड नेचुरली द गवर्नमेंट विल इशू बॉन्ड्स इट विल टेक लोन्स ओनली टू फाइनेंस इट्स फिजिकल डेफिसिट सो इन द फिजिकल पॉलिसी ऑफ इंडिया इन द फिजिकल पॉलिसी लेसन वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड यू नो हाउ द गवर्नमेंट नीड्स extra money in order to finance its fiscal deficit so it does borrowings uh, okay so there are different ways to finance it so one of the ways is it is borrowing from the public borrowing from markets this is known as so uh, basically the government can either issue bonds so it is known as borrowing from public okay then the second way is that uh, the government can take loans from the banks just like the private companies third thing is it can take loans from rbi okay rbi can also give loans to the government and the fourth one is that you know it can print money print money in the sense that uh, rbi will be asked to print a new money and give to the government okay so it will uh, kind of uh, uh, it is again a kind of loan from rbi to the uh, uh, to, to the government but uh, you know it will not be from uh, common public or issuance of any uh, uh, you know security so basically that is known as printing new money and this printing new money is the most inflationary in nature okay it is a most inflationary because uh, you know here new money is getting generated in the economy see because when uh, government is taking money from the public in the form of bonds so the public which could have given this money to the corporate sector to the private company is now giving this money to the government so in the overall economy if you see uh, you know somebody is losing and somebody is gaining here but when the government is printing new money okay the corporates are not losing they are able to uh, tap the public funds but at the same time government is also getting money by printing new money so uh, that is the reason it is the most inflationary in nature so this is just the background so government bonds are basically the borrowings of the central and state government okay the debt of the central and state government uh, the short term which is less than 365 days are you know t bills examples is t bills and it is only issued by the central government so t bills are only issued by central government this you have to keep in mind and long term which is more than or equal to 365 days and uh, you know maximum that is available in india is up to 40 years bonds okay so up to 40 years bonds are issued by government of india uh, if it is issued by central government they are known as gsex okay government securities and if it is a state government bond then they are known as sdl state development loans uh, this we have already studied so these long term bonds are also known as dated securities dated because you know they are going to mature after some time after one year or three years or 10 years or 30 years or 40 years like that so that is why they are known as dated securities okay now who issues the security uh, on behalf of the government it is the public debt office of rbi okay reserve bank of india does it but in reserve bank of india there is a department called public debt office pdo okay so the public debt office in rbi act as a nodal office for sale purchase issue interest payments principal repayment etc for the government securities and also the t bills etc so it is all done by the pdo of rbi now let us look at the different instruments okay uh, for you know government borrowings for uh, government bonds so the first one is fixed rate bonds we have already discussed this so fixed rate bonds meaning the coupon rate or interest rate is fixed for the entire maturity period for example if it is a 10 year bond and the coupon rate is 5% per annum then it will remain 5% for the entire 10 year okay and maximum government bonds are fixed rate bonds so most of the government bonds in india are frbs fixed rate bonds then the next type is floating rate bond okay what happens in floating rate bond in floating rate bond uh, the coupon rate is variable this also i have again explained to you 
coupon rate is reset every six months or one year for example if it is at the issuance it is five percent maybe after uh, you know six months it will be 4.5 percent then again it will be changed so how this is changed there is a formula for that okay so how it is changed it is changed uh, the coupon rate is decided based on the average implicit yield at cutoff prices of last three auctions of 182 day t bills so i will explain to you what is this okay so for example rbi is also issuing the t bills right t bills meaning these are the short term instruments so one of the t bills is 182 day 182 day t bills so the maturity period for this t bills is 182 days now what is the meaning of implicit yield as you know t bills are zero coupon bond right so they don't have any coupon attached to them so basically for example if the coupon the face value of coupon is say rupees 100 now since they are zero coupon they will be sold at discount okay at discount so say for example the cutoff prices meaning the prices at which they are sold during the auction they are known as cutoff prices so if for example the price at which this uh you know this bond this t bills get sold is say rupees 90 okay they are they are not sold at 100 rupees obviously because they are zero coupon they will be sold at discount so the cutoff price is say 90 so now the 182 day uh t bills one of the uh, issue that rbi is doing is uh, rupees 90 okay 100 rupees uh, t bill is getting uh, sold at 90 rupees so what is the implicit yield? Implicit yield meaning because see after 182 days people will get 100 rupees but now they are paying only 90. So what is the uh, return that they are getting in 182 days? They are getting 10 rupees right 10 rupees on 100 rupees on 90 rupees okay they, they, they are getting 10 rupees on the face value of 100 so it is approximately 10 percent right the rate of return is approximately 10 percent so it is basically 10 rupees they are getting on 90 rupees right so on the investment of 90 rupees they are getting a return of 10 rupees so basically the rate of return is approximately 10 percent or 11 percent and this is for one year this is for one year because uh, you know this is uh, sorry th this is for uh, six months uh, this 10 11 percent return they are getting in 182 days so this is for six months so what is the implicit rate of return for one year it will be multiplied by two for six months if it is 11 percent then for one year it will be 22 percent approximately okay so this is the implicit rate of return for this issue of 182 day t bill now this is one okay now for example there is another issue after say one week the rbi has issued another t bills so now for example now this 100 rupees t bill is it is now getting sold at 95 rupees so now people are get earning 5 rupees on 95 rupees so you find out the rate of return for this say for example this rate of return is approximately 6 percent okay if it is approximately 6 percent for six months therefore for one year it is 12 percent right for one year it will be 12 percent similarly you look at the third uh, auction again say for example the face value is 100 it is getting sold out at say rupees 99 okay now you are getting one rupee on 99 so approximately the rate of return is say you know 1.05 percent so this is 1.05 percent for six months for one year it will be 2.1 percent so now you get the implicit yield for the last three t bills uh 182 day t bills auction so one is 2.1 percent one is 12 percent and one is 22 percent now you take the average of this and you know you will get the implicit yeah, and you will get the coupon rate uh, for this uh, floating rate bond okay you take the average so average will be 2.1 plus 12 plus 22 divided by 3 so whatever this comes so this is around 35 uh, right this is this will be uh, approximately 36 by 3 so approximately 12 percent so 12 percent will be the new rate for uh, this is for one year 12 percent is for one year for for six months it will be six percent so like this so this is a bit technical thing i have told you but uh, i hope you have understood this so coupon rate is decided based on taking the average implicit yield of cutoff price implicit yield at cutoff prices of the last three auctions of 182 day t bills so uh, this is how it is done you don't need to exactly remember this you just need to understand what is meaning of floating rate bonds okay and they were first introduced in india in 1995 this is important now let us look at the next kind of government bond which is the capital index bond so capital index bond no longer they are getting issued in india 
दे वर फर्स्ट इशूड इन नाइनटीन ओके एंड वॉट वॉज द पर्पज बिहाइंड दिस तो कैपिटल इंडेक्स बॉन्ड द पर्पज वॉज टू सिक्योर द प्रिंसिपल अमाउंट ऑफ बॉन्ड यू नो अगेंस्ट द इन्फ्लेशन सो प्रिंसिपल अमाउंट वॉज लिंक टू द एक्सेप्टेड इंडेक्स ऑफ इन्फ्लेशन सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ द गवर्नमेंट हैज इशूड बॉन्ड वर्थ रुपीज यू नो हंड्रेड करोड़ सो दिस हंड्रेड करोड़ इफ फॉर एग्जाम्पल गवर्नमेंट हैज इशूड से वन करोड़ बॉन्ड्स ओके वन करोड़ बॉन्ड्स गवर्नमेंट हैज इशूड सो वॉट इज द प्राइस ऑफ वन बॉन्ड इट विल भी हंड्रेड रुपीज राइट फेस वैल्यू विल भी हंड्रेड रुपीज नाउ फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ द गवर्नमेंट हैज इशूड दिस बॉन्ड इन नाइनटीन नाइनटी सेवन फॉर टेन ईयर्स ओके सो फॉर टेन ईयर्स एंड द कूपॉन रेट इज कूपॉन रेट इज से टेन परसेंट पर एन एम सो वॉट विल पीपल गेट Every year, if the coupon is given uh, is paid at uh, one year, so every year people will get ten rupees, and at the end of ten year, that is in two thousand seven, people will get ten rupees plus this hundred rupees principal. Now it may happen that during nineteen ninety seven to two thousand seven, obviously there will be inflation, so the real value of this money will go down if there is inflation. In order to protect this principal against you know uh, uh, depreciation degradation because of inflation. government uh, issued a capital index bond in which the principal amount was linked to index uh, uh, you know uh, accepted index of inflation which was maybe wpi or whatever any index of inflation and uh, you know then this amount was uh, linked to the inflation for example say inflation was 5% per annum okay so 5% per annum the value of this principal was enhanced every year and the enhanced value was paid at the maturity so that is what was the concept of capital index bonds then uh, as in the capital index bond only the principal amount was uh, you know uh, secured against inflation then the government the rbi thought that you know not just the principal amount but also the coupon amount okay the coupon rates the coupon that this 10 rupees that was getting paid every year this 10 rupees that also should be secured against inflation so then the rbi introduced a new type of bond known as inflation indexed bonds so here both the principal and coupon flows are protected against inflation and the index which was used could be wpi wholesale price index or cpi consumer price index it was first issued by rbi in june 2013 okay and in june 2013 the rbi issued wpi based inflation index bonds so the inflation index that was used was wpi and it was issued then after that every week up to december 2013 then rbi saw that it is a very successful issue so in 2000 december 2013 itself rbi issued cpi based bond, bonds also this cpi is the cpi combined okay we have seen different kinds of cpi so this cpi used is cpi combined so iib cpi based coupons were paid half yearly on this and it were of it, uh, those were of 10 year maturity and they were tradable in secondary markets okay these bonds so for secondary market tradable meaning for example if a investor buys this bond today and if he feels that you know i want to sell it so in secondary market he can resell it okay secondary market he can resell it so because they could be sold in secondary market there was a possibility of capital gains for example if these bonds are rupees 100 today and for example in secondary market because of trading and because of demand the values increases to 110 okay there is a 10% increase in value so that 10% increase in value is known as capital gains so obviously if there was capital gains so capital gains tax is also applicable minimum investment was rupees 5000 maximum was 10 lakh for individuals and 25 lakhs for institutions so this was just the condition and capital gains tax was applicable on whatever capital gains you are getting and whatever coupon interest coupon or interest payment that you are getting on that you had to pay the income tax depending on your income tax slab okay depending on your income tax slab so and this income was counted in the head as other income so in income tax calculation you have to calculate the taxable income and this income was included in other income head and the capital gain that was gain uh, that was tax as capital gains tax this is important then rbi also introduced another kind of inflation index bond which was known as inflation index national saving securities cumulative bond okay iinss c now these are only for retail investors retail investors meaning they uh, retail investors meaning they can be individuals okay they can be hindu undivided family they can be charitable trust or they can be universities also see iibs could be 
परचेज बाय रिटेल रिटेल इन्वेस्टर्स एज वेल एज इंस्टीट्यूशनल इन्वेस्टर्स ओके बट हियर ओनली रिटेल इन्वेस्टर्स कैन इंस्टीट्यू कैन इन्वेस्ट सो रिटेल इन्वेस्टर्स मीनिंग इंडिविजुअल्स हिंदू अन डिवाइडेड फैमिली चैरिटेबल ट्रस्ट और पब्लिक यूनिवर्सिटीज और एनी अदर यूनिवर्सिटी प्राइवेट यूनिवर्सिटी ऑल्सो एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट्स बेसिकली नाउ दिस वर सी पी आई बेस्ड ओके द सी पी आई वॉज यूज वॉज सी पी आई कम्बाइंड ओके एंड दिस सी पी आई इज यूज विथ थ्री मंथ ऑफ लैक फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ द बॉन्ड इज गेटिंग इशूड इन डिसम्बर सो द सी पी आई दैट विल बी यूज विल बी द सी पी आई ऑफ सप्टेंबर थ्री मंथ ओल्ड सी पी आई ओके नॉट द लेटेस्ट सी पी आई सो विथ थ्री मंथ लैक इट वॉज यूज नाउ हाउ वॉज द कूपन रेट डिसाइडेड सो एन्युअल कूपन रेट ऑन दिस बॉन्ड्स वेर दैट दैट द गवर्नमेंट विल पे अ फिक्स वन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट कूपन प्लस वॉट एवर इज द इन्फ्लेशन वॉट एवर इज द सी पी आई इन्फ्लेशन एंड सी फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ द सी पी आई इज फोर परसेंट ओके दैन द रेट दैट द टोटल कूपन रेट दैट दिस पर्सन विल गेट विल बी वन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट प्लस फोर परसेंट दैट इज फाइव पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट एंड दिस फॉर्मूला इज एप्लीकेबल ओनली वेन द सी पी आई रेट इज पॉजिटिव इन्फ्लेशन इज पॉजिटिव वॉट हैपन्स इफ द इन्फ्लेशन इज निगेटिव ओके वॉट हैपन्स इफ द इन्फ्लेशन इज निगेटिव सो देर कुड बी अ पॉसिबिलिटी दैट इन्फ्लेशन इज वेरी लो और इट इज निगेटिव फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ द इन्फ्लेशन इज माइनस थ्री परसेंट सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस फॉर्मूला द कूपन रेट कूपन रेट विल बिकम वन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट प्लस माइनस थ्री परसेंट सो इट बिकम्स माइनस वन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट सो इन दिस केस द इन्वेस्टर्स विल लूज मनी बिकॉज नाउ द कूपन रेट दैट दे आर गेटिंग इज माइनस वन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट ओके इंस्टेड ऑफ गेटिंग मनी फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट दे हैव टू पे वन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट टू द गवर्नमेंट इन निगेटिव मीन्स सो इन दैट केस द गवर्नमेंट सेट दैट इफ द इन्फ्लेशन इज निगेटिव दैन इवन दैन दे विल गेट अ फिक्स वन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट ओके दैन सी पी आई विल नॉट बी कंसिडर्ड इन दैट केस बट यूजअली द इन्फ्लेशन इज पॉजिटिव ओनली सो यू नो वी डोंट हैव टू वरी अबाउट दैट now how do we calculate the 6 month coupon rate because see the coupon is paid every 6 month basis so this 1.5% is for one year so it will be halved so for 6 month it will be 1.5 divided by 2 that is 0.75% and cpi will be seen for the past 6 months so past 6 months mein kitna inflation tha for example if the if the inflation is 4% for one year okay then for 6 month the inflation will be considered to be 2% okay and again this is seen with the 3 month lag so for example if you want to look at the inflation of last 6 months so uh, for example if you are looking at december and you want to look at inflation of last 6 months so you will go back from september okay you will leave a lag of 3 months so september se piche 6 mahina hum jayenge okay september august july june may april so you will look at the inflation from april to september with a 3 month lag that is how it is done these are all the technical things i am just trying to show you uh, you know the exact uh, you know detailing what is happening here now since this now this type of securities this iin ss they are not tradable in secondary market okay they are not tradable okay they are not tradable in secondary markets now since they are not tradable in secondary markets there is no capital gains okay capital gains ka koi prashna nahi uthta because they are not uh, tradable in secondary markets so there is no question of capital gains but obviously you will get coupon incomes so you will have to pay the income tax whatever the income tax uh, you you slab you are in depending on your income from this bond you have to pay the income tax okay so capital gains tax is not applicable because it cannot be traded in secondary market but definitely income tax has to be paid again the minimum investment in this is rupees 5000 maximum investment is rupees 10 lakh for individuals and 25 lakhs for institutions institutions meaning uh, hindu undivided family charitable trust and universities okay so these are all the retail investors here now it can be redeemed before maturity also okay so for example if they are 10 year 10 year bond they can be redeemed before maturity Uh, and but if if you have to redeem before maturity so there is some condition that you can redeem them after one year if you are investor of 65 years or old so for uh, senior citizens more than 65 years old after one year you can redeem without penalty and for others after 3 year you can redeem with penalty uh, without penalty if if you have to redeem before 3 years okay then you have to pay some penalty okay so that is how it is so uh, this is about uh, you know different types of government bonds we will continue this in the next video also thank you